What is happening everybody? Hello and welcome back to Total Blast where we discuss about everything Marvel and the MCU. Marvel Studios seem to be getting ready for an interesting story in the MCU with talk of a possible Brotherhood of Mutant movie and fans are super excited about the X-Men joining the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But there is a little twist. Magneto, the villain turned anti-hero, might not show up right away. Why? Because Kevin Feige, the boss at Marvel Studio, has different plans for him. And it really looks like the Beyonder is going to be the next big bad in the MCU, as insider trades have waiting on this, and not just confirming what we had long suspected, but also to what extent. We're going to be breaking down all of these, but before we dive into all of the exciting development for both comic readers and MCU fans in the upcoming era of Mutant, don't forget that we're still giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel. More on how to win at the end of this video. And if this is your first time, Please subscribe and enable the post notification so you don't miss out on subsequent videos. So, Marvel's head Kevin Feige wants to make a whole movie about Magneto, showing him as a hero who sometimes does not so heroic things. This idea comes after news that Mr. Sinister will be the main bad guy in a new X-Men movie focused on female characters. Feige wants Magneto to be special, so he's keeping him separate for now. And now, Magneto, who first appeared in comic in 1964, leads a group called the Brotherhood of the Mutant. They are all about mutants being better than regular humans. This group has changed over time, with characters like Toad, Quicksilver, Scarlet Witch, Blob, and Masterminding joining in. You might remember a version of this in the old X-Men movie. And interestingly, the Mutant Adventure starts with X-Men 97 in 2024, a direct follow-up to the much-loved 90s animated series. While we're not sure how it fits into the bigger MCU picture, Sources suggest that these X-Men will be starting point for the future versions. Some characters like Charles Xavier in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and Dr. Hank McCoy in the Marvels will take cue from the original animated series. X-Men 97 is also planned to run for more than one season and they're already working on a second season. Adding to the excitement, Marvel Studios has a Deadpool and Wolverine movie in the works. It's teased as a trip across different Marvel universes and it's expected to end up connecting to the main 616 universe while they're keeping the details hush hush, it's clear that the movie will set stage for what happens next in the mutant story within the main MCU. Furthermore, recent rumors have been buzzing around that Marvel Studios plans to expand the mutant universe with various movies and shows alongside the main X-Men reboot. One intriguing tidbit in the possibility of an Avengers vs X-Men movie, potentially serving as an end guide or phase event. Another interesting development is the reported interest of Kevin Feige in crafting the Brotherhood of Mutant film potentially shedding light on why Magneto is absent from the X-Men reboot, suggesting Eric Lasher could take the lead. And I said earlier, the Brotherhood, known for its appearance in the comics and the original X-Men movies had Magneto at the helm with characters like Mystique, Toad, and Sabretooth. The diverse roster over the years includes members like Fyro, Blob, Mastermind, Destiny, Quicksilver, and the Scarlet Witch. The question arises whether Elizabeth Olsen's Wanda Maximoff could find a place within this mutant assemble. And as I always say here on this channel, it's advisable to take these rumors with a hefty grain of salt for now. These projects, if indeed is in the works, are likely in their earlier development stage and subject to change. Now, Marvel Studios turning its attention to the X-Men and Mutant doesn't come as a major surprise, especially considering the need for a refreshing boost after Phase 5 entries fell short of expectations. As Alex Perez from the Cosmic Circles puts it, the aim is to establish mutants more meaningfully to Earth 616 before the conclusion of the saga, introducing fresh perspective to the evolving narrative. Also, among the potential development, there's a talk of a mutant series on Disney Plus, showcasing individual stories similar to What If or a future X Men film under the Marvel Studios banner, possibly preceding the Avengers Secret Wars. According to the Cosmic Circles Paris, another intriguing concept being explored is an Avengers vs X Men film pitting members of the 616 Avengers against the X-Men. However, Perez emphasizes that it is still early days of this idea, considering the X-Men haven't yet made their way into the 616 universe. It's worth noting that these developments highlighted by Alex Perez don't necessarily rule out the introduction of an entirely new mutant heroes and villain with no connection to their earlier films. The recent example of Kamala Khan being retained as a mutant in the Miss Marvel season finale showcases Marvel's flexibility in weaving fresh narratives into the existing tapestry of the MCU. Meanwhile, additional rumors suggest contractual issues might have played a delay in the introduction of new actors as established mutant characters due to potential obligations to figures like Simon Kinberg and Brian Singer from Frog's franchise. 
If Marvel plans to reboot using the same characters before 2025, there could be legal and creative hurdles to navigate, possibly explaining the radio silence on X-Men matters since 2019. Notably, the only established mutant character we've seen in the MCU post-acquisitions are Professor Xavier, reprised by Sir Patrick Stewart in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, and Casey Graham's Beast in the Marvel's post credit scene. The mystery surrounding this development has an extra layer of intrigue into the unfolding mutant narrative in the MCU. And in other news, rumors are swearing suggesting a potential recast for Kang in the MCU. While Marvel could not swiftly recast the characters following the verdict in Jonathan Major's case, insiders indicate it's too soon for such a move. For now, Major remains the face of Kang. However, there's a hopeful anticipation that this association might change in time for the anticipated Avengers 5 and Secret Wars. Even if the recast doesn't materialize, Insider suggests Marvel has a compelling reason to consider it. Renowned Insider, My Time to Shine Alone has dropped the bombshell, stating that the Beyond That is still the main villain for Secret Wars, serving as an alleged excuse for a potential recast of Kang. The Beyond That is a key figure in the Secret Wars comics, and it could potentially be linked to Kang in the narrative twist. Alex Perez, who recently provided a comprehensive rundown of MC's story arc leading up to Avengers 5 and 6, has lent credibility to this scope with a straightforward and affirmative answer, yup. Adding another layer, a leaker known as Cryptic HD Quality on X has chinned in, asserting that Marvel might not explicitly present Kang as the Beyonder until the aftermath of the Earth 616 collapse. And at that point, Kang could transition into establishing Battle World. Now, as it's customary with these leaks, nothing is set in stone until validated in a future Marvel project. Yet, for fans eagerly anticipating the potential evolution of Kang in the MCU, these predictions had an exciting layer of speculation and anticipation. Could Kang's role take an unexpected turn in the wake of Secret Wars, and is beyond that the key to the mysterious twist? Well, only time will tell. And now, we've been hearing for a while that the TVA is going to be a part of all this, which makes sense. They are going to be bringing all of these heroes together after the multiverse collapses to the fight in the big bad and restores everything to how it once was, which could be them walking straight into the Beyonders trap. In the comics, the Beyonders captured all of these heroes and villains as well as pitted them against each other. But as it turns out, he isn't all that strong and mighty because he has a weakness. And the weakness is Doctor Doom. So, we might be getting more than one villain here. However, if we are going to be getting another villain in Doctor Doom, I think Marvel should do well in start teasing him now into shows leading up to Secret Wars just like they did with Thanos. I mean, if the multiverse collapses, I don't think that the only thing we are going to be getting is heroes. There would also be villains. So, it wouldn't really be bad if there was more than one big bad in Avengers Secret Wars. And in terms of speculation about a potential recast for Kang, this introduces both excitement and potential drawback. Jonathan Majors has undoubtedly left a strong impression with his portrayal of Kang in the MCU. Recasting him could present some challenges, such as fans needing to adjust to the new actor embodying the character. One significant downside could be the potential disruption of the continuity and connection viewers have established with Majors' version of Kang. Fans may have grown attached to his interpretation, and a sudden recast might break the consistency of the character across different storylines. Additionally, there's a risk of comparison between both actors which might overshadow the narrative if not handled delicately. Some fans may find it difficult to disconnect from Major's performance, impacting the acceptance of a new actor in this role. And with that said, let's head over to our giveaways as we're still giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel to one lucky subscriber once we hit a milestone of a thousand subscribers. And all you have to do to win is watch our videos, like, subscribe and turn on your post notification. And one subscriber will be chosen from the comment section to win a brand new PlayStation 5. Also, I want to say thank you to everyone who has ever supported us this far. We truly appreciate it. What are your thoughts on this video? And how excited are you to see the Brotherhood of Mutants on the big screen? And what do you think about Marvel's plan for the Beyonder? Please, don't forget to like this video and share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our latest Marvel news. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I hope to see you in the next one.